Um, yeah, I think uh, if I don't take that first touch, although it was heavy, I don't think I necessarily score. Um, I think it brings the keeper out a bit. Uh, I think if it was too close to my body, maybe he stays on his line and the angle's tighter, but my first touch brought him out and I just thought to just, to just dink it over him and luckily it paid off and it worked, so happy for it. Can you describe that moment to score that goal, celebrate it in the way you did in front of your own fans in this game? Yeah, um, it's always amazing to score. Uh, I haven't really, that was my first goal here and I don't really score many in my career, so it's something I need to work on and add uh, as a defender. But um, to, to score and send uh, send the fans home happy and obviously they were going wild at the time, it was, it was an amazing feeling. Was that motivating for you? Uh, to be fair, I don't I don't really pay attention to that. Um, fans were always, they're always taught, they always try to get on your back, but um, I had the backing of our fans today, of, um, of the Hearts fans, so um, I scored and hopefully it shut the Hibs fans up and obviously Hearts fans were going wild, so it, it worked out. Yeah, um, it's something I've been saying for a while now that I need to score. Um, the one at the one at home got disallowed, so um, obviously there was no better time to score my first one today, and uh, hopefully I can add a few more before the end of the season. Understandably, milked it in front of the, the fans down there. I think anyone would have done the same. I mean, is that kind of the dream scenario for scoring in your part rivals home in front of your home support? Yeah, of course. Um, I think it was a tough game as well. Uh, our fans were probably nervous watching it. Hibs hit the post a couple of times today. Um, they had a few good chances. So um, obviously, to and then when we went down to ten men, it was only two 0 So to score the third um, to seal the nerves a bit, uh, it's, it's, it's a good feeling.